Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, 919 All Fours. Hello again and welcome to the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel and we have a terrific 30 minutes coming up for you. Of course, it was a last minute change for Carolina in Cleveland. Originally, the Tar Heels thought they would be playing Ohio State. Instead, it was Kentucky that Carolina matched up with in the CBS Sports Classic. We'll have highlights of that game and post-game reaction as well. Adam Lucas will stop by as he traditionally does. We'll talk a little Tar Heel football. So much going on around that program right now. We'll have an opportunity also to speak to RJ Davis, one of those talented freshmen in the Carolina backcourt. But for now, let's head back up to Cleveland and Carolina versus Kentucky. Carolina inbounding and they find Brooks wide open for the two-handed dunk. Carolina as is Dayron Sharp. Right now Carolina has its starting five still on the court. Brooks able to muscle it up and over a double team from left of the lane. Gets the bucket and the foul dumps it right back down to Brooks. Brooks back to the basket. Double team comes. Out to Walton. Pump fake for three. Now he'll take it and make it. First two baskets of the day and it's 25-20. Playtech, the alley-oop to Garrison Brooks, who flushes it home from the left side. That happened, the blink of an eye, crosses the court to Love. Pump fake on the three, tries to drive, nothing there. Love to Davis, a three at the horn is good. Shot clock down to six as Love has it now. He's going to have to go. He just drives right by Boston, scoops it in, and he's going to have a chance for three. By Brooks into Baycott's hand. Carolina three on one, Playtech is blocked, but Baycott gets it back, scores and draws the foul. Here comes Kentucky the other way. Toppin blocked by Baycott as he flew to the rim. Holy cow, what a defensive effort. Both teams got right to the rim and neither could score. Sharp right of the lane, he goes up, his hook shot's good in the foul. Wild action on both sides over the last 30 seconds. Playtech in the corner, back to Sharp. Kicks it out to Playtech. Boy, a big three from him. How about it? Heels work it around the perimeter. Back to Love on the left. He's going to try the alley-oop to Brooks. Perfect execution for the flush. Brooks now with 11. What a dime by Love as well. 61-54. Six. Carolina by six with 3.55 to go. Just the fourth field goal. Kentucky's made this half, and Carolina gets it right back. Leakey drives to the left elbow. He'll stop and pop. Doesn't get the roll. There's Sharp with the put back and give him a chance for three. Carolina was not expected to play Kentucky today, but the Tar Heels accept the challenge and get the big win. We can make that happen, definitely. This looks great. Getting through the morning meeting in one piece? Feels good. Then realizing it's payday. That definitely feels good. All while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy? You're unstoppable. With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150, built for the holidays. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game. 
like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at nclectriccooperatives.com/brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison and Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. I feel that Kerwin's our best three-point shooter. Uh, he's been struggling with it. There's no question. I think he's like one or two, one or two for 12 or something like that. Uh, but if we were to have a shooting contest, he would almost win it every day. I told the team when the game was over with in the locker room, uh, the biggest moment of the game for me was they've got a six-point lead and Kerwin and Puff scored 10 of our next, uh, excuse me, 10 or 12 of our next 15 points. And I thought that was huge. Uh, I yelled at Kerwin to shoot one more. I thought he should have shot another possession when we had it. But uh, I think those two guys coming in when we were in foul trouble, RJ was hurt, all that kind of thing. I thought that was the biggest point of the game. And I told him I would have put them back in down the stretch. But the biggest thing we needed was defensively in there behind the guys that played longer and more experienced. They were behind those guys with Leakey and uh, Andrew out there on the defensive end of the floor. But there's no question in my mind that Kerwin and Puff uh, gave us the biggest lift of the game. I mean, the first half, they got 14 points on second shot opportunities. So I think it was our five. And in the second half, we got them 13 to two. Uh, but I didn't think we were very tough in the first half. They were more aggressive. Uh, they appeared that they wanted it more. And in the second half, we cut down on all the second shot points that they got a great deal. And we got a bunch of them. Tar Heels still have one more game before the holiday break. They are scheduled to head to Raleigh on Tuesday against NC State. As he normally does, Adam Lucas stopped by to chat and had an opportunity to talk about Carolina football and some other Tar Heel topics. Let's have Adam join us here on the Carolina Insider. Nowhere else to start other than that football game against Miami, 62-26. The final score, Tar Heels put up massive offensive numbers in the game. Uh, school record in yards, nearly a school record in rushing yards as well. Just an incredible performance from Carolina this past Saturday. What a day for Carolina football. A day on which every single thing they needed to have happen all came together in one neat little three and a half hour package. Offense played great, defense played very well. Tar Heels go on the road and beat a number 10 team to put themselves in really good position for the postseason and set a ton of records, gems in the process. Yeah, in fact, you know, we're going to talk a lot about the offense, and there you see it, 778 yards. That was the most ever that Carolina has ever gained and the most ever against the University of Miami. We know what kind of history that uh, the U has. Plus, um, Adam, that, that one to me uh, on the left side of the screen about Javante Williams and Michael Carter, the, the most yards ever for a running duo in a game. I mean, that one to me is stunning and to do it against the number 10 team in the country. Uh, I'm guessing the other four or five top marks among duos are against competition that wasn't similar to the team that was playing. Carter and Williams did it against a very good defense. 544 yards for those two guys combined. And also Javante Williams found his way to the end zone three times in this game. And so now he holds the single season Carolina record for touchdowns in a year with 22. He also is tied for first. You see there on the side that it says 19 by rush. The 19 rushing tar, uh, 
touchdowns are tied for the most in single season Carolina history. That is uh, Javante tied with Don McCauley from 1970. So total touchdowns, he is now first. In rushing touchdowns alone, he is tied for first as far as how many times in a single season. And that's a record, that, as you said, that stood for 50 years. Yeah. And Javante did it against a schedule that didn't have any padding. There was only one non-conference game in there and everybody else was a conference opponent. I think that makes it even more impressive if you need to make a record like that more impressive. We're going to get to one of the biggest runs Javante had in the game in just a second. Well, there it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and go because this one was so impressive. Adam, this is one of the more impressive runs I think that you will see, period, even though it wasn't a touchdown run. So we, we, you've probably seen this a bunch since it happened, but maybe you haven't seen it from the Tar Heel sideline where we have uh, a camera angle and some natural sound coming up. So let's take a look and listen to that Javante Williams run as it looked and sounded on the Tar Heel sideline. Adam, I mean, that was, what a run. I mean, everything you could ask for from a back in, in one play, power, speed, agility, shiftiness, just a, just what a play. I'm really glad they got my audio on there. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what as, everybody sounded as like. As Javante <laughs> runs over a defender, woo! I think that instantly goes on your single Carolina playlist. Bracey Walker blocking a punt at yeah. the Peach Bowl. Geo running the punt back against NC State. I think that run is right on a list with those plays as instantly when you see it, you know, oh, that was Javante in the Miami game in 2020 when Carolina put a hurt on the hurt. Coming off a game like that, a lot of awards for the Tar Heels, including, I mean, look at this. Every ACC player of the week on the offensive side was a Tar Heel. Quarterback Sam Howe, running back Michael Carter, wide receiver Deami Brown, offensive lineman Joshua Izudu. There's Jeremiah Gimmel, who we mentioned, who was ACC linebacker of the week as well. And Adam, darn near a clean sweep of, of every award from the Heels. I feel just slightly bad for Deami Brown. Hey, 167 yards yeah. receiving, good job, bud. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have turned that the 87-yard reception into maybe like 92, right. maybe we talk about you a little more, you'll just have to be content. ACC Player of the Week. Of course, the man guiding that offense from the coaching side of things is Phil Longo, and he also a great uh, award this week, or great recognition, Adam, as he's now a semifinalist for the Broyles Award, which is given to college football's top assistant coach. I think Coach Longo's done about as good a job as you can do. This, this will be the standard bearer for Carolina offense moving forward. Yeah. 2020 Tar Heel offense, you've never seen a better one. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. We can make that happen, definitely. This looks great. We'll bring it and have Getting through the morning meeting in one piece uh, feels good. Then realizing it's payday, that definitely feels good. All while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy? You're unstoppable. With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150, built for the holidays. 
Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. It is a large and impactful freshman class for Carolina basketball this season, and that includes those two freshmen starting in the backcourt, Caleb Love and our guest today, R.J. Davis, R.J. from White Plains, New York, made his way down here to Chapel Hill to play for the Tar Heels. Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to talk to R.J. earlier this week and wanted to let you listen in on some of that conversation. So, R.J., thanks a lot for giving us some time today. I can't imagine you ever dreamed your first year of college basketball would be the way it's been. What's What have these last few weeks been like? Well, first, I want to say thanks for having me. Um, second of all, uh, it's been, um, you know, a different scenario, different scenery, uh, especially for my first year playing college basketball, obviously with no fans. Uh, it's basically an empty gym, just uh, you and your opponent going at it. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's still basketball. You know, you're still competing. You're still competing to win that game. So you have to bring your own energy. So, RJ, what is it like? I think one of the real unique things about the beginning part of the season is how active the benches are. Like, again, not on the court and just how loud they are and how involved they – do you hear that at all? Like, if the other team starts chirping you from the bench, do you hear that at all or do you just play right through it? I mean, you can hear it at all because, like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no fans, so you can't, like, really ignore it really because it's like everybody's, like, right there. You can hear, you know, your team uh, chirping, you know, whenever you score or just to get your team going. You can hear the other uh, team's bench. So, I mean, basically everyone's uh, voice is being heard in that arena. Do you ever get mad about smack talk on the court at this point or has it just been a part of your life long enough that it's just kind of part of the game? It's part of the game, you know, especially growing up in New York, there's smack talk <laughs> left and right. So, you know, whether you're at the parks or, you know, you're even playing high school basketball, there will be, you know, uh, smack talk being involved. So uh, basically, you know, I'm used to it. Who's the best junk talker you've ever played against? Oh, man. Well, that's a good question. Um, I'll have to say whenever we played against either Cardinal Hayes or St. Raymond's um, back in my, my high school, uh, those, those are the, the two, like the guards, basically. Uh, and just the team overall, probably the best, you know, junk talkers. Do you do you talk junk, or are you a quiet guy on the I'm, court? Well, it's it's hard, you know. For me, I'm like, you know, I they I'm like a, a silent assassin, so I really won't talk too much unless you really get me going. Oh, that that's yeah. how I guess you got to get under your skin a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you really got to get on my skin, or if it's like a rivalry game where I feed off the energy. Uh, but usually, I won't really say too much. I just let my game do the talking. So people are still getting to know RJ a little bit. Tell us how basketball became your thing when when did you realize hey i'm i'm pretty good at this i would say around second third grade that's when i really started playing you know competitively basketball started playing with uh, new york gauchos around that time so i remember we went down to florida uh for the nationals and that's when you know things you know f for me felt like and you know, i could do something with basketball and ever since then i had you know gained that confidence where i could just you know go out and uh, hoop against anyone so your dad played college <clears throat> basketball too, right? Yes, sir. So did you you grew up around the game a little bit? I'm assuming. I mean, I assume that he kind of introduced you to it, or is that not correct? It, that is correct. Um, it, it took a while for him to introduce it to me at first. Uh, you, I was usually just uh, growing up. I used to play a bunch of sports. Sure. So I was. He didn't really like let me focus on basketball just yet. It was more so of, you know getting the feel for all other sports I played, like t-ball growing up, soccer, football, lacrosse, um, and then basketball. They became more so of my main sport uh, middle school so um, from like elementary school to middle school I've been playing you know, all the sports. Jones and I have talked about some this year how the Tar Heels play a game and you don't really realize RJ's out there scoring and then you look at the box score and yep RJ's got his 12 or 14 again. Have you always been able to, to put the ball in the basket? Yeah, especially at my size, you know, I felt like, you know, I've always had the ability to score, um, you know, at, you know, at all levels. I think that's something part of my game that I'm most proud of, um, just for my ability, especially at my size, just to get the ball in the hoop. And not also just get the ball in the hoop, but also, you know, bring energy um, on both ends of the court and get my teammates involved. So 
from the size perspective. In the grand scheme of life, R.J. Davis is not a small person. He's, He's on tall to me. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> he, he is a big person on the scale of life. But in basketball, you are on the smaller side. How have you managed through that and gotten to this point of your career, even though I think some people go, eh, he's a little smaller than a traditional guard. Yeah, I just use it to my advantage. I, I really, really block out the, you know, the extra chirps, uh, the outside noise about what are people saying, especially, uh, you know, the ones that are doubting me. Uh, I just use my height as an advantage, you know, with my quickness, uh, with my ability to get around defenders, with uh, my ability to be a pest on, on, on defense. Uh, I, I'm really like, you know, I'm happy with my height. I feel like it's been working ever, you know, since I got I gone so far from here, from high school. And now I'm at North Carolina, K Kajim to be, play here. Um, so I just use that as my advantage, and I don't really let the you know outside noise get into my head because you know what do they know? We can make that happen, definitely. This looks great. We'll bring it and have Getting through the morning meeting in one piece uh, feels good. Then realizing it's payday, that definitely feels good. All while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy? You're unstoppable. With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150. Built for the holidays. Now get F-150 with up to 11000 in total savings, including a 1000 trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team. And it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. It is a relatively quiet time for Carolina athletics with the upcoming holidays, but there's always Tar Heel news out there in Internet land. That's why we have the social drive here on the Carolina Insider. Adam, pretty cool moment earlier this week involving Taylor McDaniels from the Carolina women's lacrosse program. She was a December graduate and whoa, she got some big time news when she was making an appearance on the ACC network. Let's take a listen. We're happy to tell you right now that you are officially the grand prize winner. So on top of that 2500, you have won another $20,000 uh, for oh, that scholarship. Oh so congratulations to you. What does it mean to you to be the one that's selected for that grand prize of $20,000? Wow. That's all I've got to say is wow. And I'm I did not know this or anything. So I'm very <laughs> shell shocked and very, very, very thankful for this opportunity because that right there took a lot off of, you know, stress of having to pay for, you know, my master's program. As you saw there, she wins the scholarship for teachers as part with the college football playoff with the ACC with Dr. Pepper and uh, Taylor going on to get her master's in special education. And 
What an awesome moment. And Taylor, I mean, right there, live, found out that she had just won a $20,000 or $20,000 scholarship. That was a cool moment. I like that on the ACC yeah. Network. And you, remind you, after you finish cheering for the Tar Heels on the field, they're going on to do important stuff and real world problems of paying for graduate school. Taylor's got it taken care of right there. That was cool. I like that. Someone who maybe doesn't have many problems paying for school or anything at this point in his life is Michael Jordan. And Adam, we found uh, via social media, this was actually a tweet from former Tar Heel player and former head coach, Matt Doherty. Look at this. It's just randomly Michael Jordan in a UNC Asheville sweatshirt dunking at the Deke House in Chapel Hill. So many questions about, uh, you could write an entire oral history of just this picture. Uh, we, there's like a DeLorean or something in the background. Uh, there's the guy who's amazed in his Marty McFly yeah. jacket. There's Michael Jordan for some reason wearing his UNC Asheville sweatshirt. Matt Doherty later tweeted a uh, follow-up to this tweet that after this dunk, Michael Jordan then played one-on-four against four Deeks. Not Demon Deacons, right, but yeah. members of the fraternity. <laughs> and Matt Doherty said that Michael Jordan got the win. Yeah, well, no surprise there. Also, no surprise, Adam, that uh, former Tar Heel and, of course, uh, longtime NBA coach George Carl is on the cutting edge of fashion, or at least at one point was. Ex what, what's going on here? He's wearing a belt, and it appears to be a functional belt. Like, yeah. I, I don't think that's just for show. Uh, coach Carl says that belt buckles may need a comeback, that's a very good looking shot of youthful George Carl. And if Carolina's going to do throwbacks again, Jones, I think maybe you Did, throw it back to the belt. Like, Adam, I, I trust your knowledge as a historian for Carolina basketball. Did you know they ever? I, I've never seen that uniform before with the belt. I've seen the belt. I don't think I realized it was functional. I yeah. thought it was, people just thought, you know what, make this basketball uniform look better? <laughs> Instead of suspenders, what if we put a belt yeah. on there? No unitard here, it's just a belt. In that shot, though, it looks like a functional belt. Hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday season. There will be a lot of Tar Heel action right after the holiday, and we can't wait to bring all of that to you here on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield IMG College.